if you have anything to worry about, Charlie Brown. After all, science has proven that a person's character isn't established until at least the age of five. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well, that's how it goes. The only thing wrong with my big brother, Charlie Brown, is his lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, <laughs> his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His... Did you know Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game? <laughs> never won a game of checkers? Never been able to keep a kite in the air, and never successfully punted a football. Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. <laughs> Dancing, the leap, but the answer isn't clear. 
Then I shall be down, shall be down. painting these benches. <sighs> There's that cute little red-headed girl sitting over there having her lunch. I wonder what she'd do if I just went over and asked if I could sit next to her and have lunch. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on the face when it gets laughed in. Well, there's an empty spot on that bench next to her. There's no reason why I couldn't just go over and sit down next to her. Why, I could do that right now. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward that she probably would never even think to look at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember her ever looking at me. Well, why shouldn't she look at me? Is there any reason in the world why she shouldn't look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she can't even spare one little moment? She's looking at me. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> no, Sam. 
Sally, you're thinking of that other dress, the one I wore to Lucinda's party. The one I'm talking about is the very light blue one, and it has embroidery on the waist. I don't remember. <sighs> Come on. You know, the one I'm talking about had sleeves that went out like this, and then the skirt came out. Oh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, I was talking to Frida, and she said she saw one like it at the mall. Lunch times are among the worst times of the day. <laughs> with this stupid bag on my head. She probably thinks I'm the biggest fool alive. But then again, if she's not looking, I could probably take it off quickly and she'd never even notice it was there. On the other hand, I can't tell if she's looking or not until I take it off. Then again, if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, it's very hard to breathe in here. <laughs> She's not looking. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well. One more lunch break over with. Only 2,863 to go. All I need one more try, gotta get that kite to fly, and I'm not the kind of guy, gives up easily. Like with a white dress and nice slippers. <laughs> 
slippers and a big ballroom? But I suppose that's kind of silly, isn't it, Charlie Brown? No, oh no, not at all. I mean, well, we all have our own little daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. I have one that I've had myself for years now, but I've never told anyone. Well, you can tell me, Charlie Brown. Oh, no. No, I don't think I can. <coughs> no, it's not the sort of thing I should tell. Oh, I wouldn't give it away. Come on, Charlie Brown, please. Well, I've always wanted to be called Flash. I think that he's Charlie. I've always wanted to be so athletic that everybody would call me Flash. I've always wanted to be so... Uh -huh. Brita, wait till you hear this! What's the matter, Sally? I don't know. I was jumping rope and everything was fine. And then it all of a sudden seemed so futile.
that little red-haired girl and introduce myself. I think I'll introduce myself, and then I think I'll ask her to come over here and sit next to me. I think I'll ask her to sit by me, and then I think I'll tell her how much I've always admired her. I think I'll flap my arms and fly to the moon. <sighs> Simple 
demonstration of my indentation. I will go and leave my blanket on the floor. Yes, I'll go ahead and leave it, though I knew you won't believe it. I'll just walk away and leave it on the floor. Come over here and boss me around like I'm 
royal subjects. These five fingers. Individually, they're not much. <laughs> but when I curl them into a single unit, <laughs> they become a fighting force terrible to behold. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Really, I. 
everybody in the whole world? I'm mad at everybody. Are you mad at all the animals, and the birds, and the fish, and the trees, and the flowers? I'm mad at them too. I'm mad at everything. Are you mad at the sky, and all the stars? Are you mad at the ground, and all the rocks? Are you mad at the buildings, and the cars, and circuses, and TV, and roller skates, and bracelets? You didn't mention jump ropes. Are you mad at jump ropes? I'm especially mad at stupid jump ropes! <laughs> Valentine's Day. No, that doesn't sound right. Here, Lucy, this is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, come on now, you can do this if you just don't get nervous. This is for you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, take it easy. You can do it. This is for you, Lucy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> right now. Oh, I'm afraid to look. If I look and there's nothing there, I'll be crushed. But if she did send me one, I've got to look. <coughs> Hello! 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 <laughs> nothing echoes like an empty mailbox. <laughs> You didn't get any valentines. I think I figured it out, big brother. You didn't get any valentines because nobody sent you any! <laughs> Your stupid, self-centered, and moody. I'm moody. 
you're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am. And nobody likes me, not Frida, or Shirley, or Linus, or Schroeder. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Or Snoopy. Or Snoop. Wait a minute. Snoopy likes me. He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. <laughs> or Snoopy. Oh, why was I born just to be? One small person is thoroughly, totally, utterly. Wait, you're not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet there is reason for hope. There's hope. For although you are no good at music like Schroeder, or happy like Snoopy, or lovely like me, you have. Thank you. 
fighting. Well, if it's such a magnificent day, why spoil it for the rabbits? Come on, Snoopy. Where's that old gorilla we chase? Where's your sense of adventure? What kind of dog are you anyway? I'm a sleeping dog. You take it from there. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, wasting a perfect day like today. The air is fresh and the scent is clear. Come on, let's go track us down a big old rabbit. Well, it seems like she's determined. If that's what she wants, she might as well get her money's worth. Add a place, Snoopy. We got to see a lot of game today. Rabbit. 
begins to burst beneath my plague. The Red Baron has spotted me! Yeah, 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 you can't get me! Actually, tough flying aces never say yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, uh. Trap is fog! It's bad enough to have the right to fight the Red Baron without flying in weather like this. All right, Red Baron. Where are you? You can't hide forever! Oh, the sun is breaking through. I can see the woods of Monsac below. And what's that? It's a Volker triplane! I've got you this time, Red Baron.
this to be our biggest and our best game of the season. And I want everyone out there playing with everything he's got. We turned around. I thought of some new strategy for you. You know what? So we tell that other team that we're going to play at this place, but that's not really the place. So when they don't show up, we win by forfeit. Isn't that a good strategy? I don't understand managers who won't use good strategy. <laughs> now, the thing we have to remember is spirit and teamwork. And I'm sure if we really grit our teeth and bear down, we can finish the season off with hey, a... That other team? They were trash-talking us. I got even with them, though. I said, you guys think you're so great? Mozart was writing symphonies with me at your age. <laughs> that really shot him off. That is really did. Now if we all really grit our teeth and bear down, I'm sure we can finish the season off with the Yeah, Char Charlie Brown, I was thinking, Maybe you shouldn't be a playing manager. Maybe you should be a bench manager. That's a great idea. You'd be a great bench manager, big brother. You could say, bench, do this, or bench, do that. You could even be in charge of where we put the bench. Like when we go out to the field, you could say, let's put the bench here, or let's put the bench there. I can't stand it. Well, what's the sense of playing when you know we're going to lose? If there was even a million to one chance we could win, then it would be worth it, but... Yeah. Well, there may not be a million to one chance, but I'm sure there's at least a billion to one chance. Yeah! yeah. Come on! Give me a T! T! Give me an E! E! Give me an A! A!
out, send me with one strike to go. Then I saw her, this cute little red-headed girl I know. Firmly I vowed I would win it for her, and I showed my bat and I swung. Is your grabbiness 
frustrating for me. <laughs> very well then, I guess that about does it. Thank you very much, Charlie Brown. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Oh, certainly, Lucy. Not at all. Come on, Snoopy. Come on, Snoopy. One more question. Would you answer yes or no to the following? Is Lucy Van Pelt the kind of person that you would like as president of your club or civic organization? Oh, why, absolutely, Lucy, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. That about does it, I think.
about her. What did you say about me? Stop me? that. Who's sad? Who's sad? Quiet. You guys are late. We have to reverse. What did you say about me? He said. Don't even tell her. Be quiet. Sorry I'm late, but still there's no time to be sorry. Now, now remember, this is a mood piece. We must paint a picture with our music and our words. And concentrate! And remember, Adagio con Brio. <laughs> Just how? 
a little thing like that gives so much water. Do you see that bird? It's called an eagle. But since it's little, it has another name, a sparrow. And on Christmas and Thanksgiving, we eat them. I'm sorry, Lucy, but I can't stand idly by and listen to you. And way up there, the little stars and planets make the rain <coughs> that falls in showers. And when it's cold and winter is upon us, the snow comes up just like the flowers. Now I know that's wrong, Lucy. Snow doesn't come up. It comes down. After it comes up, the wind blows it around so it looks like it's coming down, Charlie Brown. But really, it comes up out of the ground. Snow comes up, Charlie Brown. Oh, good grief! Lucy, why is Charlie Brown banging his head against that tree? <laughs> to loosen the bark to make the tree grow faster. <laughs> Clouds can make the wind blow, bugs can make the grass grow, so there you go. These are little known facts that now you know.
making meal time a joyous occasion. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 